Hey everybody, it's Megan Elizabeth from AboveRubyStudio.com. Welcome to another 12 days of giveaways and fun videos. One of my favorite things to do around the holidays is make custom jewelry, custom metal stamped uh, plates, and other things that would be meaningful this time of year. One of the things that like I will stamp from time to time is just little um, plates like this that have the year on it or the family name and string it through um, like for an ornament or even on a scrapbook layout. I can do a lot of different things with these kinds of custom tags and so one of the things that I was going to make this year is some inspirational word art. I've done this for several years now. Um, I do everything from rings to uh, necklace charms and blanks and like I said these little plates I have all kinds of things that I really enjoy uh, metal stamping on. Every year I've actually made my mom uh, some of these metal plate charms that have the kids' names on them and she can add to them as grandkids come along and has a really meaningful piece of jewelry that way. Um, and I just wanted to show you how I do it. I actually got some really cool new metal stamping uh, supplies from Beadication. It's B-E-A-D, -A -B -E the word bead, and education kind of combined together. So it's B-E-A-D-U- c-a-t-i-o-n dot com. I'll put the link down here. I'll just put the link so that I'm not messing anybody up because that's a little confusing. But they sent me some really cool things. I got some pewter ring blanks. If you're going to ever attempt to stamp on rings, I will tell you, one of the things that you absolutely need is a metal mandrel. Okay, you're going to need that. And the other thing that I would definitely recommend for starting is to use pewter ring blanks. Okay, they have four mil four millimeter and six millimeter. These are the six millimeter size. I did just order some four millimeter because this the six is a little bit thick for me, even though I do like it and wear it. You can just see it's a little bit of a thicker band. Um, but I did order some four and that that's so it's big enough for the letters to actually go on um and the pewter is just so like butter to stamp on it it makes it so much easier but today what i want it to do is actually one of these um square pendants i think they're really cool it's actually a rectangle but it's actually in the in the cube form which is really cool because then you can actually utilize all four sides to put different words and inspiration on and i'm going to do two sides for this particular one um i'm going to have it so that it hangs when it goes goes on here. I'm going to just use a simple chain like so and this is just going to go through and what you'll see when you hang it or wear it, okay, you're either going to see this side again coming out or you can flip it around and you'll see this side coming out. So depending on like the mood or what I'm doing, um, I can put that word facing forward. Now, like I said, you could do all four sides. So if you have different kids' names or things like that, this is a great uh, mother's or grandmother's kind of necklace and, and thing as well. But today I'm going to use the words grace and forgiven, and I'm going to metal stamp on here. So I'm using Impress Art. This is the font, oh, what's it called? Bridget. I love the Bridget font. I have the uppercase and lowercase in the Bridget fonts and you'll just see how like wonderful they work. Um, Impress Art really does have high quality metal stamps that I feel like are so much um, stronger and more durable than some of the economy brand metal stamps. You really just want to give it one solid good thwack on down and you want to use a steel block and you can really create something meaningful and personal. My favorite thing to do this time of year. Anything custom, anything personal is what I love to create for friends, for family. And I'm using the Impress Art Weighted Hammer. You don't want to just go around using any type of household hammer because I can tell you from experience, the weight in this head is what really gets you a good solid impression. So there's the word grace right in there. Now the way I'm going to make it really pop out is take a permanent marker, black Sharpie, and I'm just going to draw over the entire thing. I'm going to really kind of fill it in, really kind of get it good and in there. And I think I've done a some type of metal stamping word video almost every year, but these are the ones that I'm doing this year. I like showing you guys new things that... Um, I can use and work on. This is just a cleaning cloth uh, wipe from Beedication 2 and I really have been enjoying ordering from them. Their customer service is great and they actually sent me some amazing goodies to share as well. 
um, like a coffee cup and some other really fun things. So now you can really see the grace impression in there a lot better with the black coming through. All right, so now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do the word forgiven. And I do like to lay out what I'm doing um, just kind of on my mat in front of me so that I don't mess up the spelling. If I can help it. This is a much longer word. With the Impress Art letters, you can see the letter I. Um, all the letters kind of face you on these too, so you know you're stamping it the right direction. So you just want to kind of keep that in mind when you're using the Impress Art too. Just keep it good and solid. One solid whack. As long as you don't move it, you can do two, but a lot of times that can give you some jumping and if you get jumping it'll give you like a double impression and not look as pretty so just keep that in mind again my g's facing forward i can see the reflection in my piece as i as i line it up so i'm kind of seeing where that n is lining up it's with next to the e each letter that is that's lining up as we go because i can see its reflection um kind of in place there the other thing that I don't worry about when I'm doing metal stamping is having it completely straight line. There is straight tape that you can purchase and pick up that will help you as a guide. You just want to use the stamp kind of to catch along the edge. I really like having the inconsistency, um, just lining it up myself. I love that it's made by me. I love being able to say, yes, I made that. And I, I just really like that look of how it comes out. Um, without lining it up perfectly. That's just me. I do have straight tape. I've done it with straight tape, but I'm a fan of just eyeballing it and letting it be for itself. I love how this looks. So I just wipe it clean. Okay, and there is... That's how it looks. Both sides. Okay, covered in grace and forgiveness. I love this. So it's a lot of fun. Um, how it just sort of falls and lays. <clears throat> right on there, just like so. I really hope that you guys enjoyed another tutorial here at AboveRubyStudio.com for Christmas gifts and DIY all season long. For the next 12 days, I'm just excited to continue to create cards and scrapbook layouts and projects that hopefully inspire you to get creative this holiday season. And don't forget to enter each and every one of the giveaways. Come back every day. You can get new entries every single day from um, December, oh, no, November 24th through December 5th. Yes. So I hope to see you every single day, all 12 days long. Enjoy the moments, my friends. See you soon. Bye-bye.